हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर तरुणा जोशी वर्किंग एज लाइब्रेरियन इन रामजस कॉलेज यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ डेली टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द मॉड्यूल मैनेजमेंट ऑफ रेफरेंस एंड इंफॉर्मेशन सर्विसेज इन स्पेशल एंड रिसर्च लाइब्रेरीज विच कम्स अंडर द पेपर स्पेशल एंड रिसर्च लाइब्रेरी द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस मॉड्यूल आर नंबर वन to understand the basic concept of reference service and use of in innovative information services in special and research libraries number 2 to enable the users to understand where the recorded information exists and to help them by providing right information to the right user at the right time number 3 to explain the various services of reference section and number 4 to know the qualities of the reference staff to explain the role of reference service in information technology and last is to know the various sources of information available on the internet the supreme and the ultimate function of special and research library is reference and information service as it exists to serve the needs of special clientele which are highly specialized in nature the main objective of library and information professionals is to enable the users to understand where the recorded information exists and to help them by providing the right information to the right user at the right time james wire defined the term reference service as that part of library administration which deals with the assistance given to the readers in their use of the resources of that library wire further stated that it is a direct or sympathetic and informed personal aid in interpreting the library collection for study and research the prime aim of the library is to promote the use of reading material contained in it general techniques like open access system classification of documents and their arrangement of shelves is a help in a helpful sequence use of card catalog and online public access catalog rfid system for security book drop system etc are all indirect forms of assistance given to the readers by the reference librarians according to dj foskett reference service is currently humanism in practice because the aim is to help people in one way or the other to secure great happiness through the possession of knowledge a special and research library is the one which is specializing in a particular subject or group of subjects or a particular form of documents it has to offer specialized services to its specialized users reference section is the image building section of research and special library the image of the library regarding its service depends upon the reference service provided by the reference section the purpose of reference work in special and research libraries is to bring together the reading materials and the readers so that the readers lay their hand upon the requisite reading in an effective manner the organization of the reference section of a library has evolved from the efforts of the librarian to help the readers in finding books for reading and finding facts for information in case of special and research libraries there is a separate reference section with a number of persons on its staff the quality of reference service greatly depends upon the proper organization of a reference section equipment required for the reference section the following equipment should be made available in the reference section reference desk telephone required for receiving the enquiries vertical files for the maintenance of press and clippings computer terminals for online search cupboard for keeping records photocopying machine few spare titles and book racks of small size to organize exhibitions and display on the important occasions audio visual equipment card cabinets stands for dictionaries and maps separate tables for all the staff members and enough space for work constantly required reference sources which can be placed on the reference desk and 
also various standard tools for selection of books, journals and other special material should be kept readily available. Reference tools and their organization. For providing quick and standard reference service, a proper reference section should be set up. Reference tools can be categorized into four types. Number one, fact finding tools. As far as these tools are concerned, these are organized near the reference desk. These tools contain factual information. These tools are scientific and technical dictionaries, encyclopedias, directories, handbooks, etc. Number two, literature searching tools. These tools are very important in research and technical libraries. These are arranged in a separate sequence in the reference section so that the users as well as the staff may get it immediately whenever they require. Number three, general reference tools, which include general reference works such as encyclopedias, dictionaries, yearbooks, etc. Number four, reports, pamphlets, and newspaper cuttings. These are the tools internally generated by the reference section. These are usually placed near the reference desk because these tools may satisfy specific queries. The reference collection should be arranged in a classified manner. That is, the reference collections pertaining to science and technology should be separated from the collections of social sciences and humanities. Selection and acquisition of reference material in special and research libraries. In special and research libraries, a great variety of material is needed. Books are often the least important part in such libraries. The books in various fields of science soon become outdated and their research value diminishes. Journals and technical reports, patents, standards, proceedings, reviews in professional journals, etc. are the most important part of the collection in special and research library. How to study reference works? In order to study reference works, the following points should be kept in mind. Number one, first of all, examine a reference publication. Study the title page carefully to find out the scope of the work as indicated in the title, author's name, author's background, etc. Number two, read the preface or introduction for further information. Number three, Examine the publication by its arrangement, that is, the type of entries, information on the use of cross references, etc. Number four, finally, compare the publication with earlier editions and check whether this edition supersedes earlier editions or should be used in conjunction with earlier editions. Different types of reference queries anticipated from the users of reference and of research and special libraries reference queries may be classified according to the nature of the information requested generally queries are divided into four that is directional fact or ready reference specific search and long range reference number 1 directional type of questions in directional type of question, a user only needs to be directed. He may ask, where is the periodical section? Where are encyclopedias? Where is the catalog? And so on. Number two, factual or ready reference type of questions. Ready reference service is more or less fact finding service. Normally, sources of information used for such a service consists of reference books of different types. These include encyclopedias, dictionaries, geographical dictionaries, yearbooks, etc. The example of such type of questions could be which vitamin we need to build bones or what is density of silver or name of national laboratories in India or a user could ask which is the smallest planet. There are the typical ready reference or data queries which require only a single, usually uncomplicated, straightforward answer. 
the requested information is normally found without difficulty in standard reference works which could range from an encyclopedia to almanac and index many of these may be accessed through the internet specific type of questions in questions requiring specific search one may be required to find limited amount of information on the topic involving search into number of sources of information the queries may be for example how are volcanoes formed or the user might ask what is surface tension or what is the meaning of microlight now coming down to long range type of questions long range reference service is a special feature of special and research libraries where all the readers are specialist they require intensive assistance in their research work the reference librarian will carry out literature search for them on demand or in anticipation of demand one may have to consult periodical articles manuscripts pamphlets unpublished documents books etc example of such queries may be flora and fauna of gujarat or maybe description of water air and noise pollution and so on and so forth now let's see what are the qualities of a reference staff it has been stated that a good reference librarian is born and not made the image of the special and reference research library greatly depends upon the quality of reference service for this purpose competent and qualified reference staff is extremely important reference staff in special and research library must possess some basic qualifications matching the area of the interest of the institution with the library which is concerned the reference librarian appointed should be well qualified and efficient he should possess the following qualities he should be a scholar possessing encyclopedic mind retentive memory judgment and quick decision making he should have thorough knowledge of the collection of the library especially reference sources he should be well informed and should keep himself up to date regarding the latest developments he should possess adequate knowledge of online reference sources he should have adequate knowledge about the electronic sources that is e books e journals e newspapers e magazines he should not only be an expert in human relation work but should have good manners and sympathetic approach towards its readers he or she should have the ability to systematize knowledge he or she should have be able to understand the needs of the users he or she must be able to search for the answers quickly and efficiently he must have the knowledge of classification and cataloging for easy location of material he or she should be well informed in his own specific field of knowledge he or she should not be bookish but scholarly not superficial but informed and last he should be courageous and self confident some other qualities might be he or she should have thorough knowledge of the collections of library must be in the habit of reading le- latest literature must be able to translate various languages apart from having a good educational background and good professional degree should be able to adapt himself to the new techniques services of reference section in special and research libraries in order to make reference service successful various types of information services have to be introduced in the reference section of special and research libraries number 1 information services a good number of reference and information enquiries are received by such libraries from time to time the range of these enquiries is also usually very large from generic to specific these may be fact finding questions the answer to which are normally available in ready reference sources normally a large majority of reference and information questions received at the reference desk can be answered through ready reference tools such as dictionaries encyclopedias directories etc 
नंबर टू बिब्लियोग्राफिकल एंड डॉक्यूमेंटेशन सर्विसेज बिब्लियोग्राफीज एंड डॉक्यूमेंटेशन लिस्ट आर द बेसिक इंस्ट्रूमेंट ऑफ रिसर्च वाइल ऑर्गेनाइजिंग रेफरेंस एंड इंफॉर्मेशन सर्विसेज इन ए मॉडर्न स्पेशल एंड रिसर्च लाइब्रेरी द प्रोविजन ऑफ बिब्लियोग्राफिकल एंड डॉक्यूमेंटेशन सर्विसेज शुड ऑल्सो बी मेड अवेलेबल डॉक्यूमेंटेशन सर्विसेज मे इंक्लूड द फॉलोइंग नंबर वन मंथली लिस्ट ऑफ एडिशन नंबर टू डॉक्यूमेंटेशन लिस्ट ऑफ कॉन्टेंट नंबर थ्री वेरियस यूनियन कैटेलॉग्स और सब्जेक्ट बिब्लियोग्राफीज एटसेट्रा नंबर थ्री डॉक्यूमेंट डिलीवरी सर्विस दिस सर्विस इज अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट सर्विस विच इज गेरिंग पॉपुलरिटी ड्यू टू बजेटरी कॉन्स्टेंट्स एंड राइजिंग प्राइजेज ऑफ डॉक्यूमेंट्स This service is concerned with the supply of documents to the users on demand. Number 4 user education. User education aims to acquaint the fresh user to provide knowledge and skills necessary for him or her to make the user aware of various services available in the library. Number 5 abstracting and indexing service. abstract is a condensed form of original document it acts as a current awareness tool for any kind of information service abstracting and indexing journals are the basic access tools example of such services are chemical abstract biological abstract etc various indexing and abstracting service available on internet are compendex which is engineering index then index medicus which is for the medical sciences inflimnet which provides abstracting service and then oclc number 6 reprographic service reprographic techniques are considered as an excellent opportunity for the special libraries as it is not on as it not only saves the space and currency but also preserves the rare and withered material from destruction reprographic facility fulfills many of the basic information service purposes number 7 referral service the basic purpose of a referral service is to tell the users about the experts specialists institutions etc who may be able to provide the desired information to them it is distinctly different from the reference service while giving reference service library personnel provides answers to the queries of users or provide the documents containing answers whereas in the referral service neither any document nor any answer of that type is provided instead only a direction is given number 8 interlibrary loan in short ill due to literature explosion and rising prices of documents it has become very difficult for any special library to be self sufficient in its documentary sources interlibrary loan is an activity where cooperation at a very high level is necessary because in it one library lends material to an individual through another library thereby helping its users and also satisfying their information needs number 9 current awareness service in short cas information is a great national and international resource today special libraries and information centers offer a variety of new documentation and information services to provide support to research and development management industrial productivity etc for any active research it is absolutely necessary that the researcher keeps himself up to date in the field of his work in addition to this he is also required to know the developments taking place in other broad areas if a reader wishes to keep himself abreast with the latest information being published in his area of specialization and closely related areas he or she has to depend on current approach to information number 10 selective dissemination of information which is called sti in short it is an extension of current awareness service 
it is the most dynamic information service which helps in maximizing the use of resources and informs the individual user about the latest developments in his or her specific subject field it is a highly personalized service number 11 translation service it is one of the important facets of documentation which plays a very important role in the dissemination of information language barrier is a great barrier for disseminating scientific and technical information translation by its nature is expensive and time consuming due to this reason some agencies at national and international levels have taken the task of translation service at cooperative basis for example at international level there is national translation center ntc in america which provides translation services on cooperative basis number 12 online reference service online reference sites or resources play a very important role in providing reference and information service to the users the most popular categories of online sites available on the internet are britannica online thesaurus.com columbia encyclopedia etc reference service in information technology era reference service is much more influenced by the developments in information technology than any other service of library and information centers in the present information technology era reference service is not only confined to the library users but also to remote users sometimes it is termed as electronic reference or e reference service virtual reference that is v reference service digital reference or d reference service etc the increasing awareness about the value added services at different spheres of lives like education health agriculture commerce and industry etc have compelled the professionals to acquire and put into service the specialized skills of computer and networking technologies email is considered to be more effective means in transmitting of reference queries requests and answers one need not to visit the libraries to get the information it can be done through emails only the electronic version of reference books are available for reference directly from the websites of their publishers for the libraries other activities which are related to the reference service in library are public access or computer literacy access to electronic databases which are available on cd roms and internet selective dissemination of information online reference service database construction online database searching indexing and abstracting current awareness service and so on and so forth source of information available on the internet following are the various sources of information available on the internet scientific and engineering network news which is a fee based monthly guide to the internet resources for scientists and engineers then history of science technology and medicine which is an excellent biographical dictionary next nasa home page for national aeronautics and space administration then there is planet science site which contains selected news and feature stories of selected topics from the pages of world famous science weekly news scientists then there is dictionary of science and biotechnology mcgraw hill encyclopedia of science and technology chemistry center of the american chemical society britannica online biology national biological information infrastructure some other popular subject or web directories are yahoo look smart open directory and some other popular search engines are alta vista likewas hotpot northern light infoseek excite web crawler and msn search real time digital reference services in real time digital reference the exchange of information takes place between the reference librarian and the user some of its examples are as follows ask now 
ask the librarian, ask a question, reference chat, etc. Now, email reference services. In this service, the user sends email to the library with a reference question, seeking whatever information he feels necessary. The library in return sends reply by an email. Some of its examples are Ask Me, Reference Desk, Info Please, etc. So students, let us summarize what we have learnt in this module. From the above detailed discussion, it can be summarized that the reference section is the image building section of a special and research library and is considered as an important component part of the entire organization of the library. The prime aim of the library is to promote the use of reading material which is contained in the library. Reference library service demands special skills. Unless a reasonable standard of qualified staff is maintained, efficient reference service cannot be ensured. For this purpose, the possession of right reference collection in certain specialized fields constitutes one of the important segment of the whole scientific technical literature and the knowledge of how to use them are two essential things to the reference section of a special and research library. Internet has helped to remove the barriers of distance and time. The modern technology is applied in speedy retrieval of information most consistently. Information technology provides greater avenues for ease access to information, improving efficiency of functioning of the libraries, education system and ultimately to improve the quality of life. For the researchers, internet is the library of the present and future as well. A growing number of users are using the internet for research, for searching the information concerned with their research field based on latest facts. Thus, the reference librarian in special and research library plays a significant role in rendering quantitative as well as qualitative service to the users. Thank you.